in certain fields, in a certain dimension. And Khidr has something else. You could probably spend a whole live stream on Khidr, but there's not much... Mm, I don't want to say there's no benefit, but it doesn't necessarily apply to us because he's got his own law. And the parts about Khidr that are beautiful, they're related, they're under the category of Mukashifat. Mukashifat of ulama who have said that Khidr lives until the battles of the end times and he dies in one of the battles of the end of time by the at the hand of the Dajjal and that he lives half of his life is in this dunya and the other half is almost as if in the barzakh or something um, and that he does not eat his food is t- t- dhikr so he has his own law just like we said earlier Sayyidina Isa bin Maryam he has his own law okay he has his own law. In that law, I don't mean sharia. I mean physically. In his reality, he can re- resurrect the dead. He can do all these mu'ajizat and that nobody else did. Okay, He can go and be re- lifted into the skies, into the heavens for over a thousand years and come back. Okay, No one else does this. So Khidr is in the dunya and that he it is said about him that he's everywhere where there's a calamity and his job is to roam the earth helping people and he attends the gatherings of knowledge and the gatherings of dhikr in a spirit of helping the Muslims and when uh, one scholar I heard talking he said if you ever want to see Khidr go to any relief site go to relief like now there's an earthquake in Morocco that happened uh, last Friday, may Allah Ta'ala protect uh, the country from having any, you know, after effects or all the side effects and all the deaths. May Allah Ta'ala have mercy upon all those who passed away and make them martyrs. Shuhada, it's the death of a martyr. But they say that in any of those relief sites, Khidr is there. And Allah knows best. But I personally, you know, believe those shiuch. But it's not a belief that is aqidah that we can prove. It's just their claim. But knowing who they are and their stature and how many reports from the scholars that Khidr is seen. So I personally accept it. <clears throat> right. But again, we can't make it a aqidah. All right. It's their claim. And when a when a, a, a truthful person makes a claim, it's up to you to believe him or not. Okay. And there's so many, so many scholars that said Khidr can be seen. Okay. What is the law of Khidr? The law that Khidr lives by is physically speaking, he doesn't need to, he doesn't live with, with uh, what we need. The human needs that we have, he doesn't have. Okay. Um, secondly, that he takes different forms. He can take different forms, yeah. And he takes the form of a very modest form usually that people would no, pay no attention to in whatever culture it is. All right. uh, it would look like just fit in. Secondly, thirdly, that he is shown if future events. When he's shown them, it's a sign for him to, to, to try to stop it. So what he's shown is not the future, it's a, a possible future. Okay, It's a possible future. Or it's a future for one person, but he could protect another person from it. So, for example, he was shown that there's going to be a a, a, a pirate or a king, an oppressive king, taking ships. So that's a fact. It's not going to change. But he can protect the weak fishermen from that. How? By breaking their ship, making them stay home for a few days while that king passes by. That's an example of that. That's what I mean that he is living on his own law. Okay. And the reason I say that, is, I'm not going to say it's irrelevant for us or unimportant because he is mentioned in the Quran and therefore he's important. Very important. But what I'm saying is that there's no sharia from Khidr to us. And there's no certainty, absolute certainty about the nature of his life. Okay. Or the, or the claims from the ulama that he lives on until the end the battles of end times but big i'm sure we can collect a you know a pretty decent sized booklet of the scholars 
who established that Khidr lives like this. And I'm pretty sure that Siyuti has an essay on it. Could you look that up? That would be really fascinating to read. Hi, right, is uh, a little nebda, a little bit of a nugget on Sayyidina al Khidr. Okay. Okay. And secondly, the answer to the the saying that did was Moses Moses correct or incorrect? Yet, well, he was answering. He was answering according to his knowledge. So, according to my knowledge, I, I'm the most knowledgeable person on the earth. Okay. All right. So the all these are what we call makharaj understandings. How do we bring two things together? And you have to get a makharaj, a way out from contradiction. 